And those people that need to work together sometimes without that communication bridge, it might never happen. And that, yeah. so in a sense, your business solves that problem. Yeah, you could think of it like mediation in a way of, of getting two parties that do want the same thing, at least at least in a small way, want the same thing, and bringing them to the table and ultimately getting well, for there. for zoning in particular, when you need a variance, our process in Philadelphia is such that you have to obtain not have to obtain community support, but you have to meet with the community and to present your project. Because when you're asking for a variance, you're asking to go up to build something um, either height-wise or dimensionally or use-wise that's not allowed based on our current code. So you have to meet with the neighbors who are going to be affected by and the people who are advocates in that neighborhood and provide to them the product and then get their feedback. And ultimately, the goal is to get support because like anything in life, if you get people on board, everything moves quicker. Yeah. It's when you're building something or providing something that people may not perceive as as beneficial as you do. And then that we all have council members who represent these districts and these neighborhoods who have to advocate for these people as well. So it's the balance between you know who we represent, which wow. is developers, but our because I work for government, I see the government side, and I understand, you know, with L&I, why you're not getting your permit as quickly. Well, if you understand anything about city government, the way it's funded, I've sat through many budget hearings while working for the councilman I work for, and just being around in general. Everything, there's a reason everything doesn't move, and it's not as simple as you make it, but you have to get support, you have to get people to like it, and learn how to make tweaks. Sometimes it's a little give and take. Uh, we try to focus on vision with people, not sight. Um, sight is like, a to B to C to D to e, you know, to task based or here's the plan. Vision is like, what can I do today that will help me 10 years down the road? Because with development to do a career out of it, it's not one project. You know, it, it's a thousand projects Would over you say a career. That in a sense, you know, your experience in the real estate community developing side, that what makes a great developer is that long term vision for what they're going to be doing in a community yeah, to make it a win win. I think it's long term vision. I think it's an understanding of the neighborhood. It's the interplay of like you had mentioned before, you like information. I'm obsessed with information. I like knowing everything about everything in this space particularly. And if you know everything and you understand all the angles of it, you can provide something that, that makes sure that everyone's accounted for, right? So like, for instance, if you're a politician and you're working in an office that's supposed to represent the entire city and you're, the people you have staffed who give you advice or influence you don't look like the people or don't have the age bracket or don't have the experience, you're, you're not getting all the information you may need to make a decision. So with developers, if you're going to propose a project in a neighborhood, but you don't understand the demographics or any issues or where the council office may be or where the city may be, then you're only making decisions like pretty clouded. Yeah. So that's what makes a good developer. I, I would say in wow. developers, it's flexibility, right? It's and knowing that- it And listening. You know, it may look cookie cutter. It may look like the same thing you've built a hundred times, yeah. but you're placing in one place, you're placing different. And Philadelphia is unique. It is a city of neighborhoods. It is really a city of neighborhoods, and every neighborhood's different. Like we just, yeah, each block. Each block looks different depending on where you're, you and are. Each, and, and certain people care about certain different things, right? So, so people, some people are really some some of the communities are transient. They're they're new people coming in, right? And some are long held places where they've had generations. This is maybe they're in the house that they've been in since their grandfather had the property, right? And it's just been generation after generation. That really is neighborhood to neighborhood. And, and that reflects, and every I'd say every day we face a new challenge every day.